I'm Artifacts, and it's officially spooky season, so let's create one of the creepiest drawing illusions ever of a skull that actually follows you around. For this drawing, I recommend thicker paper because it stands up better once we're finished. Now, take a ruler and a pencil and draw a 6x6 six six inch square on your paper. After this, we'll need to mark a few spots for the basic template. First, measure 2 and 10 sixteenths of an inch from the bottom left and mark it with your pencil. Then, use this mark to draw your first vertical guideline like this. The second mark will be measured 3 and 3 sixteenths of an inch down from the top right, and we'll draw a horizontal guideline connecting this mark to the line in the middle. The third mark is 15 sixteenths of an inch down from the top left, just shy of an inch. Then a fourth mark at 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch down from the top right. Draw a line connecting these two marks. The last couple of marks for the base template will come at 2 and 2 sixteenths of an inch from the right of this top guideline, and 1 and a quarter inches from the right of this middle guideline. And connect these two. Now we can erase some of these guidelines until we get a shape that looks like this. Okay, before we draw the skull, we'll want to mark two fold lines. The first at 1 and 6 sixteenths of an inch from the bottom, and the second at 2 and 2 sixteenths of an inch from the bottom. Now we can start blocking out shapes, starting with the nose. We'll place it right here between these two guidelines. Eye sockets will go in the area above this top guideline, and add circles for the eyes. The mouth goes here in the bottom section. For the outer shape of the skull, I like to round the edges, but you can leave things square if you like a more blocky style. This upper right section here is the left profile or side view of the skull, so remember that as you sketch things out. This will make more sense here soon. Oh, and angling this line here will help with the fold a little later on. Okay, in order to make the teeth line up perfectly, it's helpful to measure how far the mouth is here from the bottom of the jaw. We'll measure the same amount from the right and mark it for the side view of the teeth. Now, let's draw the line for the teeth and connect it to this mark. Finish out the basic sketch by adding in your teeth, and some lines here and there for the bone structure. Okay, just go ahead and color everything in however you'd like. You can go for realism or maybe even a cartoony illustration style. Have fun with it. I'm mixing a bit of both and also giving this a heavy outline on just the outside lines of the skull. One last thing we need to add before we cut out the shape is a set of tabs so we can tape things up easily after folding it. Draw a line about a quarter of an inch to the right of the face here, and then some angled lines that point in to the marks that we drew for the fold lines earlier. Now, cut out the skull along the outline, including the tabs, and you'll end up with something like this. This next step is optional because this illusion will still look really cool if you just want to draw in the eyes, but I want the eyes to really follow me around, so I'll start by cutting out these circles with an X-Acto knife. Next, I'll just need one ping pong ball. I'll take the ping pong ball and find the seam, then cut the ball in half using the seam as a guide. I'll add color for the irises with Posca paint markers, since the color is more opaque on the surface of the ball. The last thing we need is a base for our skull, so let's draw something on another sheet of heavyweight paper to get us in the spirit of Halloween. Be sure to draw this at the bottom too, since we'll fold this paper above the letters like a card. Now to assemble everything. Start by taking the skull and making your first fold right here above the eyes, folding the top of the skull over the eyes like this. The crease of this fold should line up with the top tab, right at the corner. For the second fold, we'll take the side view and fold it over the top of the skull. Again, the crease for this fold should line up with the corner of the top tab. Now let's fold the bottom of the face back right here above the nose. This fold crease goes right above the top of the nose, lining up with the top of the next tab. The last fold on the face will be here just under the nose, and we'll want to bring the bottom forward this time. To complete the folds, bring all of the tabs forward and crease them over the face. If we did everything right, our skull should come together nicely when placing the side over these tabs. Now just tape the tabs on the back to hold everything in place.
Next, place the eyes on the back, making sure they're centered and secure them with tape. Ooh, yeah. The base is a simple fold here above our letters, but let's make sure the back is shorter so the skull angles up when placed on a flat surface. The last thing we need to do is tape our skull to the base. 